going on guys? Grey Disciple back with another gameplay and this is a good one. Alright, this is going to be a lesson on why Treyarch needs to do something about parties going up against randoms. Alright, I got five guys in this team. I move up to my favorite side of the map on Infection and I'm going to squeeze their spawn. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the team that I'm with. We got a lot of heavy hitters in here. We're all playing with haters. We all decided before the match we're going to go non-lethal. Because some of the guys I play with pretty regularly don't have nuclears. So, my primary objective when I move up here is I'm going to try to get a hater. By the way, I almost killed that guy right there because he forced the spawn out. I was so mad. But I just rotated back. I took my time. That guy dies on the C flag. Kill him off of B. And I move back. This is the reason why I cho choose this position right here is because their dominant spawn is right there. Right? I'm aiming at it right now. That's the dominant spawn. Now, it's not the easiest thing to manipulate this side. You got to be pretty good with your shot because they can kill you extremely quick. I'm on a merciless. Usually, what I've learned in domination it takes about 11 to 12 kills to get that hater. But once that first hater comes in and everybody starts feeding off of it, there it is right there. It's all, it's the end of the game right there. With a good team, when that first hater goes up, everybody's gonna get their hater, and then it's just gonna be an endless stream of haters. Oh my goodness, I just said hater like nine times. <laughs> all right, so again, I'm gonna squeeze the spawn on this side. If they come off back there, I'm gonna kill them. My idea, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to force them cliff side, because I have teammates on the cliff side, all right? And that's where we have them positioned right now going for the hater streak. All right, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a few things in, in this. I'm going to show you what's called a spill out spawn point and, uh, and a couple other things. Now, towards the end of this first half, I'm still working on this streak. And watch this. This is why this spawn gets a little tricky. See, I die. I went to it too many times. That was 19 kills right off the bat. All right, obviously, you can imagine this is going to be an extremely high scoring game. So... There's, a, there's one particular YouTuber in here that has not gotten a nuclear yet in Black Ops 3. Uh, I've put him on my channel before. I've spoken about him before. You may see him sometimes in my gameplays. I think we met on TSG. His name's Trombone Loki. He started his channel here recently, and what he did was he uploaded his perspective of this game. And so we're just giving you two perspectives on how this works and why teams... Man, they should not go up against randoms. Oh, it's so unfair right here. I mean, look, we're just working that spawn in the corner. It's so cheap sometimes, <laughs> but I'm not going to lie. It's fun. And when it's double XP weekend and you get opportunities like this, man, you go in. I think at the end of this game, I had something like 60,000 XP. <laughs> All right, now look. They don't have, we have A, we have B, we're taking C. I'm spinning around because I know they're going to spawn. Catch them right there. Man, that was close. All right, I should have died there. You just have to be real careful. Now we have them at the A spawn, and pretty much for the rest of the game, even on into the second half. Here's the beginning of the second half. They're going to have the A spawn. Now, I'm telling Loki right now, and we're all talking to him because we want him to get this nuclear. Let us do the initial push. And anytime you guys are on a big streak going into the second half, the initial push is the most dangerous part of, of the game. All right, you've got to get, let your team situate and force them where they need to be before your teammate moves up. There you go, started off with the super kill. That's Loki over on Cliffside. He had moved up, and it was like, you know, a minute later he had it. Now, here's what I'm doing right here. This is what's called the spill out spawn. Two reasons. You gotta have a guy playing, I guess, defensive back. We're looking for two things on a spill out spawn. Number one, we wanna catch them in a spawn flip because we want to force them into their main spawn, which is A. See him, see him spawning right there to my left? Over on Cliff, there's no reason they should be there. That's a spill out. I spawn right back in, and what I'm trying to do again is force them back into the A spawn. Gosh, this sounds so cheap. I feel like Birdman right now talking about this. <laughs> but I gotta tell you, it's an amazing gameplay, especially for Loki. I want you guys to go check him out. I'm gonna put his link in the description. He ends up getting a nuclear with 30 unstoppable medals. Absolutely insane. And I know you guys may be saying, well, Give me all those haters and you can do it. Well, I didn't get a nuclear in this game. None of the other guys on our team got a nuclear in this game. So it does take a little bit of talent. I mean, you've got to win a lot of gunfights in order to do that. So you guys go over there and check him out. And this dingo, I, I put uh, fast mags on it. So I'm running BOA. 
stock and fast mags. I took quick draw off. Fast mags help so much. I mean, it, this thing is just an OP assault rifle, and I wish people would stop using it. Maybe if I stopped using it, they would too, right? <laughs> All right, I'm back over there squeezing that spawn. I'm trying to catch him in the flip. I'm waiting. This is this is one of the reasons I get so many kills in this game because I anticipate spawn flips. See, there he comes. And I'm just gonna sit here and I'm gonna feed off of it. Gosh, so cheap. Remember how I said, you break eyesight and you can pop back in and kill him. Break eyesight with the spawn, come back in and kill him. And you can do it over and over again. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed the video, and I understand if you don't, that's okay. But if you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. As always, leave a comment down below. Please, I'm not gonna boost people to nuclear, so don't ask. It just kinda happened this way. And as always, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't forget, go check out Loki's channel, all right? Talk to y'all soon. Bye.